The Arc of South Carolina and how we support our citizens with disabilities. The Arc of South Carolina is a nonprofit grassroots organization founded in 1957 by a small group of parents and other individuals concerned about the rights of people living with intellectual and developmental disabilities, or IDD. We are an affiliate of the Arc's national network of more than 600 state and local chapters. We provide leadership in the areas of advocacy, education, health, employment, public awareness, prevention, and research. We are a statewide agency with extensive experience working with adults with IDD and broad networking capabilities to successfully coordinate and implement programs for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The Arc of South Carolina's mission is to promote and protect the human rights of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and actively support their full inclusion and participation in the community throughout their lifetimes. The ARC's core values, people first, defined by their own strengths, abilities, and inherent value, not by their disability. Equity, entitled to respect, dignity, equality, safety, security, and are equal before the law. Community, belong in the community and have the right to be fully included and actively participate in all aspects of society. Self-determination, can make decisions about their own lives and must be heard on issues that affect their well-being. Diversity, society benefits from the contributions of people with diverse personal characteristics. The ARC's initiatives, the ARC is the largest national community-based organization advocating for and with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and serving them and their families. We work tirelessly to uphold our vision that every individual and family living with IDD in the United States has access to the information, advocacy, and skills they need to support their full inclusion and participation in the community throughout their lifetimes. The ARC carries out its mission of protecting and promoting the rights of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families through innovative programs. Our programs include topics on the following, criminal justice, education, future planning, employment, health, technology, travel, and volunteering. Our services include case management, advocacy, everyday living, best buddies, Supported Decision Making, MLK Day of Service, Wings for Autism, Wings for All, Walk This Way, The Elephant in the Room, The Alert Program, which stands for Autism Law and Emergency Response Training, and CIRS, Community Inclusive Residential Supports. Our case managers identify and address needs and concerns, coordinate resources, provide information and support, create and develop opportunities, monitor and evaluate services, construct lifelong plans, assure plan achievement, and educate the community. Everyday Living is a hands-on interactive training program that develops independent living skills among individuals ages 13 to 23 with intellectual and developmental disabilities to promote confidence and self-efficacy. In this unique program, members from the community train participants in the following home skills, cooking, cleaning, safety in the home and community, nutrition education, managing finances, time management, and more. The Arc of South Carolina is one of three host sites for the Best Buddies program. Best Buddies pairs people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in one-on-one -on -one friendships with college students. College Buddy volunteers offer individuals with IDD the chance to explore a new way of life through socialization and newfound friendships and gives people with special abilities a chance to speak up, be heard, and advocate for themselves and others within the community. The South Carolina Supported Decision-Making Project 
seeks to increase awareness of supported decision-making in South Carolina and promotes alternatives to guardianship that allow individuals with disabilities to retain control of their lives. The project's activities include creating informational materials, family trainings, professional trainings, family counseling sessions, and systemic advocacy. The ARC of South Carolina has teamed up with ABLE SC, Disability Rights SC, Family Connection SC, and the South Carolina Developmental Disabilities Council to bring families useful resources about supported decision making. MLK Day of Service is a nationwide effort to transform the federal holiday honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. into a day of community service that helps solve social problems. The Arc of South Carolina organizes service projects where people with intellectual and developmental disabilities volunteer alongside people without disabilities to help provide food to people in our community who are in need. On MLK Day 2019, 129 volunteers made 1,720 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that were donated to Transitions Homeless Center and the 153 Project. MLK Day is the only federal holiday designated as a National Day of Service to encourage all Americans to volunteer to improve their communities. Part of living a full life in the community includes being able to travel to faraway locations for both work and pleasure. People with intellectual and developmental disabilities are entitled to this piece of community participation, just like anyone else, and should be able to navigate air transit comfortably to experience the same opportunities as every other traveler. The ARC's Wing for Autism, Wings for All program gives family and aviation professionals the confidence to take to the skies with ease by providing an airport rehearsal as well as a presentation on the aircraft features and in-flight safety protocols. Walk This Way is about getting people in the community together to promote and increase physical activity, healthy eating, and new friendships. This program includes people with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities that walk or roll with one another in community walking groups. It's a great way for people to get out, meet friends, and stay active. The Elephant in the Room is an educational program for parents of teens with intellectual and developmental disabilities who want to become more confident and prepared in having effective, age-appropriate conversations about healthy relationships, appropriate behavior, and sex. Tailor this information to their child's learning style and needs learn how to spot signs of abuse and what to do about it, and network with other parents. Autism Law and Emergency Response Training, ALERT. ALERT provides training for first responders so that they can better serve people with autism in an emergency situation. Every training session is led by a first responder who has a family member with autism spectrum disorder. Having different perspectives allows facilitators to provide a comprehensive overview of ASD, including growth rates, theories, common characteristics, behavioral symptoms, and sensory issues. The program also addresses effective communication methods while providing practical skills to first responders on how to successfully interact with a person with autism spectrum disorder during an emergency situation. CIRS, Community Inclusive Residential Supports. The ARC of South Carolina acts as a third party advocate for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities so they can live semi independently. We sign lease agreements with landlords and educate them about the legal consequences of discriminating against individuals with disabilities. For nearly 70 years, the ARC has been at the forefront of the fight for the civil rights and inclusion of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families, playing a leading role in major victories in civil rights, community living, education, income security, and other important issues. We have fought to close institutions and make life in the community possible. We have opened the school doors for students with disabilities to be included in the classroom alongside peers without disabilities. And we have advocated for affordable health care access. We are at the table for every major public policy fight and advancement impacting the lives of people with disabilities. 
The ARCS Action Center. Following the administration's proposals, Congress has introduced the Better Care, Better Jobs Act. This bill includes a long overdue investment in the disability service system as part of a COVID-19 economic recovery to support care for Medicaid recipients and create more and better jobs for the workforce that provides that care. We're pushing for members of Congress to enact legislation that lives up to this plan and to do more for people with disabilities, their families, and the direct care workforce. We're asking for passage of the Better Care, Better Jobs Act, a national paid leave program, and improvements to the Social Security Income Program. The Arc of South Carolina's Action Center. We're dealing with several issues on a state level. Some of those issues include aging caregiver crisis. Aging parents are worried about who will care for their children when they are no longer able to do so. Critical needs list. We have more than 70 individuals with IDD who require immediate services. Improved care for individuals with IDD experiencing a mental health crisis. We need a program to meet the gap in acute services for individuals with IDD. Medicaid waiver waiting list. There are more than 14,000 individuals who are eligible for services but are on a waiting list. Additionally, South Carolina has a 44% turnover rate for direct support professionals. Federal Medicaid Assistance Percentage, or FMAP. Money that was allotted for South Carolina never made its way to providers who care for people with disabilities. Conflict-free case management. There are still agencies in South Carolina that have not completed the move to conflict-free case management, which requires that assessment and coordination of services be separate from the delivery of services. The goal is to limit any conscious or unconscious bias a care manager or agency may have and ultimately promote the individual's choice and independence. The Arc of South Carolina is on the front lines from the first breath to last to ensure that people with intellectual and developmental disabilities have the support and services they need to be fully engaged in their communities. Home is in the community.